Welcome to this presentation of ProAct On Demand 2.0. My name is John Bartlow with Reliability Center, and I will be your host. Let's go ahead and get started. Once we are logged in to our ProAct On Demand account, this is what the main screen will look like. You have two buttons to create new analyses, and you also have a listing of administrative functions available to you from this screen as well. Let's take a look at the new analysis wizard. The first step is a severity calculator. If we would like to rank the event that we are going to analyze on the severity calculator, recommendations will come up depending on the likelihood to recur and the consequence that we choose. So you can see here that the default is in the middle and if I was to change this to low cost and low likelihood, then you'll see it's recommending a fishbone analysis. And if I was to go to the very bottom, it would recommend a five wise. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, if I take it to the highest, it's, it's recommending that a full RCA be conducted. And these are just recommendations. You can choose to create whatever type of analysis you like. And if I continue to the next step, is where I will give my RCA a name. And I'll just call it my new RCA. And we have a listing of types. And this list is customizable. This is just a default list to categorize your RCA. And I can also type up a description or I can choose to do that later. We have a listing of critical success factors, which are rules or guidelines for the team. I'll just pick a couple for example. We also have a team charter. You can type up your, your own or use the ProAct default team charter. We can adjust our dates for our RCA if we would like. And choose our team members. I'll add a couple of people to participate with me. And now I want to describe the event that I'm going to be analyzing. Say a pump failure causing downtime. I can also add my observed failure modes which caused this pump failure. For now I'll just say that we had a bearing failure. And once I've completed that, it takes me right into my cause and effect logic tree. Now I've gone back to the main analysis list screen by clicking on the ProAct On Demand or the RCI logo. And it is important to point out that if you, if you wish to bypass the steps in the new analysis wizard, you can simply click the quick analysis, give your RCA a name, and then you will, it, you will immediately describe the event in the modes and go right into your logic tree. Now that we have created a top, top box with our event in our modes, which is known as the top box, this is also a problem statement. Now that we've got this in a visual of our problem statement, it would be a good time to decide what type of evidence we need to collect, which we can accomplish in the preserve section. So here, I already have two items here that I would like to do. I would like to interview the operator, and I would also like to take photos of the broken components. If I need to add some additional data collection tasks, I can do that simply by clicking Create New, and we do have the five P's, these are data categories, just to help you consider, uh, have I collected all of the data that I need? And, and by thinking of these five categories, it may help you to, to uh, keep organized on data that you may still need to collect. While you are doing the data collection process, you have the opportunity to upload any sort of external files that you may have, such as photos or documents uh, of any type. Uh, to support your RCA, and you can do that by clicking on the data collection links, and I would just simply navigate on my computer to where I have the file saved, and I believe I have a photograph here, and I will click Save, and if I go back into this Parts Data Collection record and check out my data collection links, you can see I've uploaded the bearing photograph, and it is now part of my RCA and supporting documentation. Any information uh, that I wish to change that uh, when, when I was setting up my RCA in the new analysis wizard, most of that can be taken care of in the order section. As you can see, we could adjust the severity calculator, my team members, 
critical success factors, charter, dates, and comments. And I could also enter my analysis description here in the order section. Basically, this is to review any of the information that you already set up in the new analysis wizard. Now we can go into the analyze section and work with the logic tree. If I would like to begin building hypotheses onto my tree, I will choose a failure mode and just ask myself the question, how could I have a bearing failure? And once I select it, you'll see this toolbar becomes enabled and I can simply click this plus to add a hypothesis. So a possibility that could cause a bearing failure could be erosion. I can also use the build hypothesis list to add items to my tree if I like. Corrosion would be another possibility. Overload may be another possibility. And fatigue is also another possibility. So if I would like to add these three to my tree, I can just simply click Save. And these three hypotheses have now been added to my tree by using the Build Hypothesis list. I can also do a template search by using the Previous Suggestions feature. If I was to select the Fatigue Hypothesis, and I will go to the Edit button here, and there's a Previous Suggestions ready for me to search on the text that is, that is my, my hypothesis text, which is fatigue in this case. So I'll just simply click go. And now we're seeing a pick list coming up from the PROACT knowledge management templates. And we'll also search any published analyses that you have in your database in addition to the PROACT templates. So you can see I've got many pages of items here, which are possibilities that could cause fatigue. So if I would like to add some to my tree, I can just simply place a check mark here. Resonance could be a problem that causes fatigue. Misalignment could be another, and I will just add those two for now. Click to add, and now I've added those two items to my tree. As these are hypotheses that, that they're adding, that we are adding to our logic tree, we do need to verify these with evidence, which is done by clicking the edit button and then we can access our verification log by clicking here, and I will add my verification log. So what is my method for verifying fatigue? I'll say visual inspection, and you're seeing that it's giving me a history of, of things that I've typed in here, so it can help you along if you would like to type as you go and select. And I'll, I will say bearing show signs of metal fatigue. And I can also upload files here, and I can do that right from my smartphone. If I'm at the failure scene and I've got my smartphone with me, I can simply snap a picture of the failed components and I can upload them right into this preserve record in my ProAct On Demand account. So I can attach that, that file of the photograph of the bearing right here in the verification log, just as I did in the preserve section as well. Do you need to select a team member who is going to be responsible for this verification? And I can put in dates if I need to, but it is not required. So adding hypotheses to the tree is just as easy as using the plus button as we did a few moments ago. And I'll add another one, which is high vibration. And once I've added my hypotheses to the tree, they're also very easy to manipulate and move around to different parts of the tree. For example, if I would like to move high vibration over here underneath the overload hypothesis, I can simply cut, select the overload, and paste. And now I've moved that uh, hypothesis to to be subordinate to overload. And if I would like to duplicate it, I would just simply copy it. And then if I would like to put it back over here and have it in both places, so I can, I can do that as such. And you'll see, you'll notice that parts of the tree will collapse um, to make best use of the space available to you 
And if I would just like to click here, it will highlight it. And you see the three, the three subordinate hypotheses to fatigue then collapse. And all I need to do is click here to expand them and open them back up. Or if I would like to open all of my nodes on my logic tree at once, I can do that by clicking the presented button and then all of the, the nodes will stay expanded. Now I've switched to a more complete example for this demonstration um, where I have labeled uh, some of my hypotheses as not true. I have others labeled as physical roots. Um, I, I can continue to expand and go down on this and you can see I have physical, human, and latent roots. I can highlight my path to failure which will just simply highlight in red all the way from the failure event at the top down to any root causes you've identified on the tree. From my identified root causes, I can make recommendations simply by clicking the recommendation button here. I already have a few put in here. If I were to add an additional one, I can select all of the root causes. So if I have one recommendation that may be taking care of multiple root causes, I can just drag them over by clicking on them one time. And once I've made my recommendations in the tracking section is where I can track the effectiveness of those recommendations to make sure that something got better as a result of my efforts. So I've already created a tracking chart in here where we're going to just simply track the frequency of pump failures. And if I would just like to click to take a look at that chart, it is we're tracking the effectiveness of this particular recommendation where we developed a comprehensive and thorough alignment procedure. Our metric to track is frequency of failures and you can just see here where we've chosen to track it once a month and that we do have a downward trend which is a good thing. And then once we have completed our RCA also we can generate our final report in the communicate section and here in the communicate section I can type up an event summary and a summary of the findings or a summary of my root causes. Um, Go ahead and click next. If I would like to use the default report topics uh, that ProAct provides, I can click next and it will generate my report preview. Or if I would like to use custom topics, I can go through the steps in choosing those and maybe saving my report settings to my liking. But for now, I will just click next for the default topics and it will be bringing up a preview of my report. And you can see here with my cover page, and my data collection records, my team members, the severity calculator, my verification logs, and my root causes and recommendations. And of course, I can simply click this print button to save it to PDF to where I can save it and share it with others. I'm going to go back to the Analyze section now and point out that we do have a ProAct guide available in ProAct On Demand 2.0. This is for the novice user who may, not, who may need a little bit of prompting on the next steps in an RCA. So depending on where you are, I've got the event selected. So it's, it's asking me, would I like to add a mode? If I was to select that, it's going to automatically prompt me to put in another mode. And if I, would, if I have a hypothesis selected, you'll notice now it's offering me these options of adding a human physical or latent root or these other options of saving or printing. And we also have a little, we have a guide here that gives a little bit more, uh, gives a little bit more detail and even more detail here and then some concrete examples to help us along. And these, this is available to you throughout the application or you can hide it just by closing it out right there. Finally, I would like to point out that as you complete RCAs in your database and you would like to share them and make them searchable to other, other folks that have access to your account, all you have to do is simply select to publish them. And then you'll notice it'll turn green. This means that it's going to be visible to other people who have access to your account and it as well as searchable. So when using the previous suggestion search on a logic tree, it will search our templates as well as your published analyses. Thank you for taking the time to learn about ProAct On Demand 2.0. If you would like any additional information, you can please contact us at the contact information shown here.